Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here. Very late upload. Uh, had no idea what I was going to do for today's video. Um, but uh, tomorrow I might do like a like year in review and just talk about like all the stuff I did this year and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if anybody cares about that, but let me know if you want to see that tomorrow, like talking about the events I went to and all that uh, good stuff. Uh, but I was looking at my desk and uh, I was trying to think of a video idea and I saw all my pop vinyls. So I thought, let's do a pop vinyl uh uh, all my pop vinyls like showing them and so because I don't think I've ever done that I think I've showed like when I got like one or two in certain videos but I don't think I've done like a you know uh, what's it DVD like they people do like their pop vinyls DVDs I don't know what I'm looking for I don't know the words I'm looking for but um, I'm gonna just show you my collection I don't know uh, I'm gonna show you all my pop vinyls I take them all out of the boxes just because I like to have them on my desk I hate when they're like just stuffed together in the boxes I know a lot of people are going to be really mad about that because usually like everyone wants to just keep them in the boxes, but I take them out. So sorry if you don't like that, but let's get right into it. So I got, uh, this is probably like one of the first I got, Hulk Hogan, and uh, yeah, man, he's brother. He's cool. I like Hulk Hogan, so there's like the back and stuff. I'm not going to like show you all like the features and stuff. Um, this one is the Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. Um, I got this because I was very, very excited for the movie. And then the movie came out, and I absolutely hate it now. So I use this pop vinyl just to hold up a, a framed 8x10 because it won't hold up on its own. The thing broke off, so I put this behind it, and it keeps it up. So that's what I use it for. Yeah, Suicide Squad sucked. Um, this is a bobblehead, so I'm really happy about that. It's Darth Maul from Star Wars, of course. Uh, the Phantom Menace, a lot of people hate that one. And I actually like it. Like, I think it's pretty good. I hate the second one, and the third one's like, eh. But the first one, I actually really like. Liam Neeson, Obi-Wan Kenobi is amazing, and Darth Maul, his scene, his fight scene with Liam Neeson, and uh, I don't know what his character's name is, but his fight scene with Liam Neeson and Obi-Wan at the very end, oh, the music and everything, I freaking love that. Darth Maul's the best, he's the bee's knees. I got this for Christmas, so I'm very happy about that. Next, don't judge me, but uh, I got Ross Geller and his monkey from Friends, the TV show. Friends is a great, it was like the greatest TV show. Not the greatest, but it's amazing. Uh, his monkey's Marcel, that's what its name was. Yeah, Ross from Friends, he's amazing. So I got that too. Uh, next, I got from, this is the Arrow version, uh, Destro. Destro's one of the best villains. His season, season two for Arrow was so freaking good because of the guy that played Destro. And Destro is just an amazing character. Um, I'm very happy that he's going to be in Justice League, I think. I think he makes a cameo. And then I think they confirmed him for the villain in uh, Ben Affleck's like solo Bat Batman film. So Deathstroke's the bee's knees. I freaking love Deathstroke. If I'm going to have a guy on Arrow, I'm going to have to have Arrow himself. So yeah, Arrow, Stephen Amell plays them. Um, the, the show's, yeah, the first two seasons were so good. And the third one, like, real, I think I didn't like the third one that much. And then the fourth one just blew, and the fifth one sucks too. So, but that that's my opinion, um, of course. But um, yeah, Arrow's pretty cool. The first two seasons I would definitely recommend. They're really good. Uh, this one is a bobblehead too, so I'm very happy about that. Daredevil, the Netflix show really, really just rekindled my freaking love for Daredevil. I mean, you know, after Ben Affleck butchered him in that stupid movie, quite possibly the worst movie ever. Um, I was, I was just kind of done with him, and then, you know, I, I still love him as a character. And the Netflix show, oh my gosh, so amazing. I don't care about Jessica Jones, I don't care about Luke Cage, I don't care about the stupid Defender crap. All I care about is more Daredevil and Punisher. That's what I want in my Netflix life. So, yeah, sorry about that little rant. Uh, next, we got The World's Fastest Man, Flash. This is, like, the TV show version. It's not like the comic book or whatever, but uh, Flash is cool. Flash is really good. I, I, I enjoy that show as well. It's kind of starting to not get as good, but uh, if I have a Flash pop vinyl, you got to have Reverse Flash. He's like opposite. So this is the show version too. Um, I I like, like Flash, but it's getting so repetitive. Like the villain is always just an evil version that can run really, really fast. And he starts off with every episode saying, I'm Barry Allen and I'm the fastest man alive. Yet every freaking episode, he has to go faster and beat someone that's faster than him. So it's like, obviously, you're not the fastest man alive. But I just wish they would have a villain on that show, a main villain, that wasn't fast at all. That could just outsmart him and outplay him at everything. That's what I want in my life. Final four, we got Macho Man. This is probably, the, I think this is the first one I ever got. So Macho Man, he's like the best to start off with. Um, next, Deadshot. Again, I got this because I was very excited for the movie. 
Um, I was actually hoping to buy like all of them. I like talking Jared Leto's uh, Joker for uh, Suicide Squad, Captain Boomerang, Diablo. I was really hoping to get all of them. Thank God I saw the movie first because man, I'm I, I hate all those characters now. But yeah, Will Smith, you screwed me. Um, I got Undertaker, which is awesome, but his hat is so heavy, like he can't. It will not stand up. So I gotta like lean in on something for some reason. It just won't stand up. But Undertaker's amazing. And last but not least, the freaking goat himself, Daniel Bryan. So, yeah, that's my collection. I freaking love pop vinyls. Um, let me know of any cool ones. I'm trying to maybe get more Star Wars ones. But, like, let me know if you know any of, like, really, really cool ones that people don't think about. Or, like, wrestling ones you really like or something. So, uh, duh. But that's my pop vinyl uh, collection. Let me know in the comment section, like, the pop vinyls you have and, like, what's your favorite stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you know like a cool one, like a Stan Lee one, a cheap, cheap Stan Lee one, because I see them go for like hundreds of dollars on Amazon, but like a Stan Lee, or, like a Deadpool or something, you know, send me pictures of it on Twitter or stuff. So I don't know if I've already said this, but like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 Rocks, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow I'm possibly going to do a like 7 WWE Rocks in review, uh, a year in review from 2016. Let me know if you want to see that. And just thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great night.